Picking the perfect poinsettia is not easy to say, but it can be very easy to do. The first thing you want to do is you want to actually pick up your poinsettia and look at it closely. You want to look at it through the side. A poinsettia should be as wide as it is tall because that means it has nice branches and it's a nice full plant. Fun fact with the poinsettia is the flowers are actually this part in the center and not actually the red leaves that we appreciate there. Poinsettias being a short day variety, they actually turn color as we get closer to Christmas, which is why you get more and more red or whatever color you have as we get shorter and closer to the holidays. Poinsettias really don't like change. They don't like it being too hot or too cold. So when you've picked it out and you're going home, you want to make sure that it gets bagged up so you can avoid that blast of cold air on your trip to your car or being in the car. And just like that, when you get home you also want to make sure that you're not putting in a spot where it's going to get blasted by cold air from leaky windows or doors and you don't want to have it right near a hot air vent so that it's constantly getting fluctuations in temperatures. Caring for your poinsettia at home is very easy because all the work has been done you just have to maintain its beauty and you can watch your poinsettia will show you that it needs a drink when the bottom half of the leaves will start to droop just a little bit and at that time you can grab it and put it in either a dish or in the sink and allow it to soak up water directly into the roots for nice even watering. One of the tricks that we use at Hemans to get nice full poinsettias is we like to give them their space because just like our friends, we like them better when they're not right on top of us giving us no room to grow. So when, you, when you're out, you'll see that there's lots of room in between all the poinsettias because we don't want them to touch. And when you get them home, we want you to do the same thing. Don't crowd them in or they'll start to stretch up and not fill out nice. One of the most commonly known things about poinsettias is, is that they are poisonous, right? Well, that's actually wrong, and I'm going to show you just how wrong that is by eating one of these bad boys right now. So I'm going to put my money where my mouth is, and I've collected myself a very colorful salad of poinsettia leaves here, and I've got my two choice uh, salad dressings, and uh, I would recommend that you don't do this at home, however, just because it's a very expensive salad if you're going to eat your poinsettias. But when you actually go on the ASPACA site, you'll find that poinsettias are not listed under their uh, holiday plants that are poisonous to your pets. And even for your kids, a kid would have to eat over 500 of these leaves in order to start to be uh, seeing any symptoms. So, bottoms up. It's pretty good. So there you go, poinsettias, not as poisonous as you think. Beautiful around the house. And if you take care of them well, you're going to enjoy them for weeks to come.